Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, if you add a new hard drive to a Linux system, that hard drive needs to be partitioned and it needs to be formatted before you can actually start using it. So today I want to go through the process of finding the name of the hard drive when it's connected, how to partition it, how to format it, all from the command line on a Linux system. So if that interests you, then please, let me explain. Okay, so the first step is that once you connect up your new hard drive, whether that's an internal drive using, let's say, SATA or an external drive using USB or whatever, you need to find the name of that device. Now, in uh, Linux, all devices that you connect to your de uh, machine come under a special name in the dev folder, slash dev, dev for device. And you need to be able to find the name of that device and then you'll be able to re reference it when you are partitioning it and formatting it and so on. So let's go over to our Linux machine and see how you list the devices that are connected to your machine. Okay, so here we are on one of my Linux boxes. And so the first thing we want to do is discover the hard drive. Now the easiest way in my opinion to do this is LSBLK for kind of list block devices with the minus big S, minus capital S, which will only show the SCSI drives. And for historical reasons, hard drives appear as SCSI drives. We hit enter. And here we can see that there are three disks listed. SDA, one, uh, uh, SDA, SDB, and SDC. This is a, a serial ATA drive, and look, it's a Western Digital, we can see that there. And it's actually this one here, SDC, that I'm gonna be using today, and it's connected, actually, this is a housing for USB, which it tells us here, here it says SATA and SATA. Okay, so I found the disks using that way. There are a couple other ways of doing it. Another way would be to do uh, air sudo, super user, uh, F disk uh, minus L. Now that will show a load of stuff. As you can see there, that's lots of stuff. So to fight to not see these loop ones that we're seeing here, what we can actually do is say pipe that into grep. And I've got a video on grep, remember, minus I slash dev slash SD. And then that lists out the, the drives. And here we see SDA, 300 gigabytes, SDB, 300 gigabytes, and SDC. Uh, one terabyte drive there. So again, SDC is what we want to see. And there's a final way of doing it. Uh, S uh, sudo uh, parted, which we'll look at later as well, as we will look at FDisk later as well. Minus L, again, lists all the different things out like that. And again, I we can probably do a grep for something there. Let's look for SD something. And there we go, SDC is uh, you know, one gigabyte, SDB is 320 gigabytes, uh, and SD uh, one terabyte, I meant to say, sorry, SDC is one terabyte. Okay, so there we go. We know now <laughs> for sure that we wanna use slash dev slash SDC. Okay, now you know the name of the device slash dev slash SDA, for example. How do we now partition that? Partitioning means to take that raw block of all those uh, data that's there and actually say, I want to have this used for a file system. You haven't yet put the file system on it, but I wanna use it as a file system, maybe as one big block, maybe as two separate partitions, one for the operating system, one for your data, so that if you reinstall the OS, you've still got your data there. Maybe you want one for backing up files, whatever. You can divide up the hard drive however you like. And if you're dual booting a system, for example, you have Windows and Linux, and you might wanna divide it, one for Windows, one for Linux. There's lots of reasons why you'd want to partition it into different parts. But how do you do that partitioning? Well, let's go back to the Linux machine and find out. Okay, so Linux has various tools for doing partitioning. Probably the most uh, used one, certainly in the past, maybe not today, but certainly in the past is FDisk. So uh, sudo fdisk slash dev slash sd, what was it? It was c that we were looking at, okay? And that then uh, tells us, this goes into the fdisk utility and just gives us this thing, command m for help. Well, if you do p for print, that will print out some stuff about the hard drive. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the o command. If you do m here, by the way, you get a list of all these different commands. O will create a new DOS, a, a new partition, but a new partition table. So it'll erase everything that's there, and that's now empty. So if we do p now, we can see there are no partitions. So to create a new partition, you do n for new, that's easy enough. 
What do we want? P for primary. This because it's an MS-DOS partition. So MS-DOS used to have the idea of primary partitions and extended partitions. We want to create the first partition. We'll start at 2048. That's what it's offering us as the beginning. We'll take the default there, 195352567, which is the end of the disk. Okay, it says here there was other stuff on this dive before. Are we sure we want to get rid of it? Yes, we do. Okay, and that's it. And now we do P again and we can see that we have this uh, SDC1. Now the thing to note here is that the one tells you that we're dealing with partition one. When you just do with SDC, then you're dealing just with the hard drive as an entirety. When you do SDC1 or two or three, then that tells you about the partition. And in fact, we can tell here that it's just one big long partition uh, for Linux, 93 gigabytes. And what you do to get to save that out there, you just do W for write. Okay, and that exits you out into the command line. Now, another program you can use is a CF disk. So this is a much more of a visual program, though still from the command line, slash dev slash SDC. Okay, and here we've kind of used cursor keys and things, and here we can see highlighted in green that partition we created. Let's delete that, so let's move the, the cursor. Here I'm doing this with the cursor keys left and right. Let's go to delete. Okay, and that now says it's free space. And so we can go through the different options. Let's go for new, we'll do the whole thing, primary like before, okay? And there we go, exactly the same thing. We've created a whole partition there. And one thing of course we wanna do now here is write that out. Are you sure you want to write the partition table? You have to type yes here, okay? And that's now been written out and finally we can do quit. And so there you have it. So another way of uh, creating uh, more than one partition. Now let's see what happens if we want to take, create two partitions. Uh, using this. So we'll go into there again. We'll delete what we've got. We'll start with a new one and we won't do this. We'll say, well, we'll have one at 400 uh, gigabytes, please. And it'll be the primary one. And now you can see that there is this 400 gigabyte one and then some more free space. So you can see we've got two things in there. So now we can, again, we can go in and create a second one there. And so now we've got two partitions and notice it's SDC1 and SDC2. So you've got two partitions on the drive, which is known as SDC one and two to show you the partitions. And again, we can just write that out. Uh, yes, we're sure, and then quit. So now that's a second way of doing it. Now, another program that's very, very often used is one called Parted. So we can do uh, uh, sudo uh, parted slash dev slash SDC again. Okay, and it says welcome to GNU or new parted. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do make label, which is the equivalent of creating a new partition table, but rather than a DOS based one. So the DOS based ones were there way back from the days of MS DOS. How did the hard drive get divided up? And that's been carried through a lot through to today, but there is another type of partition table called a GUID, GUID partition table. That's what we're gonna create now. Everything's gonna be deleted. Are you sure you wanna do that? Yes, we sure we wanna do that. And again, the same thing, we can actually do P to, to find out what's there, print it out, and we can see that there's absolutely nothing. There's no partitions. And if you do print free, that will tell you what there is. So there's the free space. So we can see there that it's a, it's a one terabyte drive. And so what we can actually do is we can say MK part, make partition. We need to give it a label, so we're just going to give this one a label, one, zero, 100 percent. So there you go, the beginning is at zero, the end is at 100 percent, okay, and that is now P for print. There you go, created a partition with a name of one, that's what we call it there. You could have called it Fred, you could have called it Australia, you could have called it whatever you wanted to, okay. And we can do the same thing now also with a, um, a DOS partition, if you didn't want a GUID partition table, make label uh, MS-DOS. Okay, and yes, we don't mind that everything is deleted. We can do P again, find out there's nothing there. Same thing, make partition, but this time we say primary, that's not the label now. This is telling us the type of the partition. We want it to be EXT4, and we wanna go from zero to 100%, and we print that out, and there we go, an EXT4 partition, which is a Linux, the Linux file system. And you just type quit, and that will then write that out, and that is now saved to that table. And so if we call it again, we can just check the partition. There it is, partition one that we have created. Okay, so that is our how you partition your hard drive into different sections using FDisk, CFDisk, uh, and uh, new parted. 
Now the disk is partitioned, the next thing to do is to create a file system on that partition to format that partition. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how you create an ext4 file system on that partition. That's the file system you'd normally use on a Linux system. And also how to create an xfat Part, uh, file system on that partition. And that's useful, for example, if you're doing this on a USB drive or an external drive and you want to use this on other machines like Windows or on Mac OS so that they can all read because XFAT would be kind of a common way that's supported by all these different operating systems. Okay, back again to the command line. Okay, so the final part is to create the file system. That means like to format it. And the way you do that in Linux is again, you type uh, MKFS, make file system. Notice everything is begins with MK, make partition, make label, all these things. This comes from make directory way back in, you know, from the shell, make a, a FS, and we want to make an ext4 uh, uh, file system. And you say where? Well, slash dev, slash SDC, not just SDC, SDC1, because it's in that first partition. And that will go ahead and actually start to format that partition as an ext4 um, as an ext4 file system and that will take a few seconds to do that one thing to notice if you are ever doing benchmarking in terms of file system io and you format a new uh, file system like this there is some delayed writing that goes on uh, that you you can disable when you do that uh, mkfs otherwise the hard disk is actually still busy in the background there uh, doing the reading and write, which under normal circumstances is just fine because you want to let it ca carry on with that. So if this was an external hard drive, even a USB flash drive, and I wanted to move it between Linux and Windows and Mac OS, I don't want to use ext4 because that is primarily used uh, on Linux. So I want to use something like xfat, which is the format for uh, SD cards, for higher capacity SD cards. And so it's kind of generally universally recognized. Now you might need to install xfat fuse uh, on your Linux uh, machine to do this. I'll just show you the command that you need to do that. So you need to install DOS F FS tools, XFAT fuse and XFAT utils. I've got all those already installed. And so what we first want to do is we need to change the type of that partition from being a Linux one to being a kind of a Windowsy kind of one. And let's do that in uh, F disk. So let's go back to uh, F disk slash dev slash SDC. And if we print it out, we can see here type uh, Linux. So if we type in uh, T here, we can type in a different uh, type of uh, for the partition. If we do L to list the codes and way up here, look at this, hate number seven, NTFS and XFAT. So we'll say we'll change that to type seven, please. When you do a print again, you can see it's now not Linux here. It says it will support XFAT. So let's write that out. And now what we can do is a, a MK, fs.xfat slash dev slash sdc1 again because it's the partition and that will now create that as uh, an xfat so that drive if you unplugged it now as an, a usb and plugged it in somewhere else you'd be able to read it on other machines okay so there you have it you've learned how to find out the names of the hard drives how to partition the hard drive and how to format it all from the command line in linux if you want to see more linux tutorials please do tell me in the comments below and maybe suggest some topics and i'll see whether they are viable okay my name is gary sims this is gary explains i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget the speed test g channel i suppose that's about it i'll see you in the next one